Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another learning video. In this video, we are going to decode USFDA guideline on nitrosamine impurities. So let's get started without any further delay. Well friends, title of this guideline is Control of Nitrosamine Impurities in Human Drugs. This guideline was published by CDER in Feb 2021. This guideline was directly implemented by USFDA without taking public comments. Moreover, there is a provision in the Federal Food and Drug Cosmetic Act under Section 701H for the direct implementation of any guideline in case of urgency. Actually, FDA was not in a position to waste time by giving it for the public comments and then making it effective. FDA wanted to make this guideline available to the drug manufacturers immediately so that risk due to nitrosamine impurities can be mitigated as soon as possible. Now the question arises, if someone wants to give comments or any other information related to this guideline to FDA, then how it can be done? So answer to this question is mentioned here in the guideline. Here you can see that FDA has clearly stated that if there are any comments related to this guideline, that can be shared to FDA in electronic form on this website www.regulations.gov. This guideline has been divided into five parts. First part is introduction. Second part is background, third part is recommendations, fourth part is maintaining the drug supply, fifth and the last part is reporting changes to FDA. So in today's video, we will focus on the initial two parts, introduction and background. So let us see what is written under introduction part. Under introduction, it has been written that this guideline is applicable to all the APIs and drug products which are synthesized chemically. This guideline will also tell you that what are the steps which API and drug product manufacturers should take to detect and prevent the unacceptable levels of nitrosamine impurities in pharmaceutical products. This guideline will also tell us that what are the conditions under which nitrosamine impurities may generate in the pharma products. So these are the three key points which are mentioned in the introduction part of the guideline. Now comes the background part of the guideline. Under this part of the guideline, we will learn historical developments with respect to nitrosamine impurities. So it was June 2018 when FDA first time identified the presence of nitrosamine impurities in well-certain tablets. Well-certain tablets are used to treat high blood pressure. In well-certain tablets, NDMA impurity was identified and full form of NDMA is n nitroso dimethylamine it is one of the type of nitrosamine impurity. So after identifying the presence of nitrosamine impurities in well satin tablets, FDA carried out extensive investigation and came to know that several lots of well satin tablets which were manufactured by different different companies were having unacceptable levels of nitrosamines. So because of this, so many companies voluntarily recalled the affected lots of well satin tablets from the market. Now, worldwide recall of the world certain tablets has led to the shortage of world certain tablets in the market. September 2019 FDA identified that some of the common heartburn products ranitidine and nizatidine were also having the unacceptable levels of the NDMA impurity. Therefore, the pharma companies which were manufacturing ranitidine and nizatidine were asked voluntarily to recall the impacted lots from the market. Later on, FDA tested two weeks accelerated condition stability sample of the ranitidine tablets and found that NDMA impurity was increasing with the increase of the temperature. Therefore, on April 1st, 2020, FDA requested all the ranitidine products to be withdrawn from the US market. December 2019, FDA came to know from the regulatory bodies of other countries that metformin tablets which are used to treat type 2 diabetes were having NDMA impurity. Fab 2020 FDA also identified that NDMA impurity in some of the samples of metformin tablets but impurity percentage was not exceeding the acceptable intake limit. May 2020 FDA testing revealed that certain lots of the metformin extended release tablets were having NDMA above the recommended acceptable intake limit. Based on this testing, FDA informed pharma companies to voluntarily recall the impacted lots of the extended release metformin tablets from the market. So this was all about the historical developments related to nitrosamine impurities which are mentioned in the background part of the guideline. 
If you see the background part of the guideline, then you will find that under background, three topics are given. Number one, nitrosamine impurities. Number two, general root causes for the presence of nitrosamine impurities in API. And number three, nitrosamine impurities in drug product from the sources other than the API contamination. So let us discuss nitrosamine impurities first. Nitrosamines are the chemicals which are having nitroso group bonded to amine, specifically secondary, tertiary and quaternary amines. These chemical compounds generally produced due to nitrosating reaction between nitrous acid and the amines under SD conditions. When this guideline was published at that time, FD identified seven nitrosamine impurities. So these are the seven nitrosamine impurities which are mentioned in the US FDA guideline on nitrosamine impurities. NDMA, NDEA, NMPA, NDIPA, NIPEA, NDBA and NMBA. Nitrosamine compounds are potent genotoxic in several animal species. According to the International Agency for Research on Cancer, some of the nitrosamine impurities classified as probable or possible human carcinogens. So this is the reason because of which there is a lot of buzz around the pharma industry and the regulatory bodies of the different countries. So guys, this is it for today's video. Before we wind up, let us quickly recall the learnings of today's video. Number one, current guideline on the nitrosamine impurities was published by FDA in Feb 2021. And the previous version of this guideline was published in September 2020. This guideline is applicable to both the finished product and APIs. This guideline will tell us that how the nitrosamine impurities formation takes place. In this guideline, we understood that what are the historical developments related to nitrosamine impurities. And finally, we understood that what are the nitrosamine impurities and why they are the matter of big concern presently. So in today's video, we have covered guideline up to here. We will learn varying part of this guideline in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and happy learning.